Hey guys, um, so I'm coming here today and, um, well, it's really hard to do this video, um, today and, um, okay, uh, I recently had a really tragic, um, death in my family and, um, the first thing that came to mind was really unfortunate, but it is really unfortunate because I'm taking it really hard. And I, you know, at first I found it really hard to, you know, to accept it and to move on from it. And I just didn't know what to do. And I've just been attached. I just been attached for so long that it just was really hard. It was really hard to let go. Um, but yesterday I finally did let go and I'm doing this video so I can have sort of a memorial to really just say goodbye. Um, so I am going to say goodbye today and I want to say goodbye <clears throat> to these babies. <laughs> oh, can you see them? Yeah. To these babies. All of you know, um, I... <laughs> Okay, it really isn't death in a family. Well, it is because I, I do consider these shoes family. But okay, anywho, these shoes died so bad. Like, okay, let me show you. Can y'all see that? That is a hole. Can you see my finger? <laughs> I have worn these toe shoes for so long that I have now a hole in the freaking bottom. Okay, I have another hole. Um. I don't know, like right here, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, like right there. Okay, two holes, see? One and then two. So three holes in this shoe. And then in the other shoe, I have two holes just waiting to happen uh, here and here. So I have a total of five holes. And you know, it was really hard for me to be like, Oh my God. Like, okay. First of all, I cut my foot. Um, what shoe was it? Oh, it was the, the, um, the right shoe. Oh, cause this hole right here, it like cut my pinky toe. And I was like, why does my foot hurt? I've been walking and exercising so much. And I guess like I finally just worn these shoes out. And it's crazy because I like my foot started bleeding and I was just like, what the heck is going on? And then I realized Faith turned them over hello your shoes are dead so um but guess what i mean you know i really did take it really hard i freaking love these shoes and i still think i will see i want i wanted to replace them but i find it really hard to think of doing that because they're so special you know like this is my baby <laughs> but anyway lo and behold in the in the absence of these shoes in my life i let go and I now have a new love. I bought these um, yesterday, and these are from DSW. Well, they're from, I bought them at DSW, um, but they're actually by a brand called um, Jambu or whatever. Jambu. And it's an all, it says all Terra design, so I guess for all different terrains. But this is now my new summer shoe, and I freaking love love these like if I could stick my foot up high enough to show you guys how my foot looks in this shoe I would but I can't because I'm not that flexible but these look so awesome they feel awesome they breathe look at all this air space Woo! it's great and I would have never have found these shoes or even been looking for them had I not lost these so I know this video is a little silly but I say all that to say that the end of anything no matter how you know how important it was to you or how life changing, life altering it was to you. The end of everything is only the beginning of something new. Okay. So accept it and embrace it. I mean, like it's wonderful. Like, yes, I have lost these amazing shoes and I've had them for, I kid you not, these shoes are not bad shoes. Okay. I've had these shoes for years now and I wore them a lot. And, and I mean like wearing them in Hong Kong and then wearing them in New York, like, the streets are crazy. Like, the streets are horrible. So, these shoes have been amazing. But you know what? It's time to say goodbye. And I am saying goodbye. And I'm saying hello to something totally new. So, in your life, whatever it may be, whether it's a job, whether it's moving, 
whether it's dating, whether it's, you know, finding something different to do that, you know, can fill that void, whatever that void may be in your life. Um, don't be afraid to let go of something that no longer does what it used to do. You know, like it, once it's something has run its course, accept it and be open to the idea of something new happening because I kid you not like at first I was so obstinate I was like I what am I gonna wear like how am I gonna go out and I was like Faith you have other shoes but I was so attached to these because of the way they made me feel and they've made me feel so good and I know everyone was like you're not wearing shoes you're walking around barefoot but you know what I love those shoes and I still do to this day um but I now have a new love and we're going to have new adventures together and that's great and I'm excited. So remember, don't get caught up in the end of something. Don't get caught up in it, whatever it may be, okay? Just accept it and move on and be open to new ideas. Oh, and with that said, update, update, update. Okay. Um, you know, you guys know I've been like applying to like a million jobs. I swear I've like applied to over 50 jobs since I've been back. And this is now the beginning of week three. I have a job interview today, hence the hair. Uh, and it's crazy raining as I can you guys see my hair. Yeah. I think I've done this hairstyle before, but never this neat. Um, I mean, it was because my hair is dirty, but anyway, uh, <laughs> no, I really do need to wash it, but I was like, I'm not going to wash hair and then go out and then it's crazy raining. It's been nuts here. Like, I guess we need the rain and you know, they say April showers bring May flowers. So whatever. But yesterday was crazy. It was raining so hard. Like I was like, I felt like I was in one of those old movies where they're like in a cabin and they have to leave their clothes out to dry by the fireplace. I seriously have my clothes like lined up all over the place so they could dry. Um, oh, excuse me. But anyway, so yeah, I say that to say I have a job interview today, so I'm really excited. And even if I don't necessarily like what happens, what goes down in the interview, I don't care. Like, I'm just so happy to finally be back in I'm moving. I'm moving towards something new, you know, like quitting my job and moving. And, you know, that was the end of something. And now you've been waiting and open to new ideas. Now it's moving forward. I'm using my hands a lot, whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this new chapter in my life. So wish me luck. And um, I will talk to you all soon. So yeah, peace. Laters.